Hey there everyone, I'm PumpkinFanaway, and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. Last time we went to Altaza's house, where we learned about his connection to Oset. And to Crucius. He used to work for Crucius. And then out of the blue they started talking about a way to get back to Silverant. And then we heard the name The Otherworldly Gate. And the next day... Rain was gone, of course, so I think we know where she went. At least I hope so. <laughs> so we came here to Altamira to learn more about the gate. And we met up what was left of Perseus' sister, Alicia. Who really wanted us to find her killer. Her master, Bryant. So I guess we have another, ki another name in our book, so uh, we should probably meet up with him later on too. Well, we will, it's a part of the story, so... Yeah, we will. <laughs> but, yeah, we also learned that the Otherworldly Gate is just open tonight, under the full moon and all that cliché stuff. So, uh, today, of course, we are going to the Otherworldly Gate. Hopefully Rain is there. I don't want to fight any bosses without my healer. I do not want to use Regal. <laughs> are you leaving? Yes, I am. Yeah. <sighs> Not really though, I don't really mind. I mean, Regal works nicely, but I also have Celos. He works perfectly. <laughs> He's a good healer. But anyway, let's just go straight to the Otherworldly Gate. Really? Two minutes in and I'm already interrupted. Jeez. <laughs> but as I said in the last video though, you'll, you'll know what the Otherworldly Gate is when you see it. Yeah. It's almost like a little mini Stonehenge. So, uh... Let's just go in here and... Come on. Really? This is the gate, come on! Don't be a picky game. Really, do I actually need to be on the other side? Are you serious? There we go. Welcome to the Otherworldly Gate. And funny enough, it's bright daylight now. And when we enter... Of course, it's night time. Full moon and everything. <laughs> Professor! Oh, thank God. Everyone, why are you all here? Why do you think we're here? We were worried about you. That, and we can't fight without a healer. I mean, Celos works, but yours is just so much better. It's dangerous to come here alone. As a fellow half-elf, I can't just leave you here by yourself. Why did you come to this place? This is where Genus and I were abandoned. What are you talking about? You two are from Silverant. No. I happened to catch sight of this place when we rescued Colette, and it's been on my mind ever since. We didn't fly this way, but okay. I'll take your word for it. Then, when I heard the story about the two poles which connect the two worlds, I became certain. Oh, wait, we did. Uh, never mind. <laughs> the images in my memory. The ruin I've been searching for all this time is this place. So now we know that too. Genus and Rain are from Tefeala. So not only are they half elves, the evil race, they are also from the evil world of Tefeala. Huh. Why do I have a feeling that there's going to be a giant plot twist and we find out that they are the main bad guys behind Crucius? Yeah, Genus is the final boss. Now you know. <laughs> that was actually that would actually be pretty good. Almost rivaled Button Gaitos. So what are you saying? The two of you were born in Tetheala? It can't be. All my memories are of Isalia. I don't know this place at all. We were born and raised in the village of the elves, from which we were eventually ostracized. We were abandoned here because this place was said to be the path to the legendary Silverant. The village of the elves? A secret village said to be off-limits to anyone except elvenkind? Yes. I don't know the details of what happened. That sounds familiar, that village. Hmm. Eh, probably nothing. But I'm positive that I was left here along with Genus when he was just a newborn. And we eventually ended up in Silverant. Then this time, let me send you to hell instead! Who's there? Kochinawa! What are you talking about? 
My chance to avenge my parents' deaths has finally arrived. Avenge your parents? Correct. You will die for killing my parents, along with countless others of our village when you fail to control Vault. B what? That was an accident. Why are you doing this now? Accident? I could have accepted things if she just failed to make a pact with a summon spirit. But then, she failed to assassinate the Chosen of Silveron, thereby placing Mizuhu in danger. Yet look at her now. She's made pacts with summon spirits just like that. You have it all wrong. Do I? I think she wasn't really trying during the first pack making. Because of that, she killed my parents and our people. You need to look pretty damn far to find someone who is more narrow-sighted than Kuchinawa, seriously. I mean, I see what he means, but... Wow. That's bad, dude. That's bad. I did the best I could. She was a freaking kid when she tried. You can't really expect the kid to do everything in the world even though she's a ninja. I'm sorry, but I see what you mean, Kuchinawa, but... Idiot. <laughs> Enough excuses. Oh, great! Happy day! For some reason, these uh, guys also got the boss music, but uh, yay, more people knights that I kind of I get to kill. So let's just equip the Sardonyx right away, and also let's give Salos his lightning sword. These guys don't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, I love these guys because they are so screwed. <laughs> But I don't really think I need to show more of this fight now, so I will meet you guys after the fight. Ah, easy. Fun. Damn, there's too many of them. Kuchinawa, please, don't drag them into this. I'm the one you despise, right? Then I'm the only one you need to kill. Sheena, stop talking like that. It's okay. Kuchinawa, please. Fine. Sheena? Boy, come on! Everybody, into the gate! Damn! The Guardian Signature Trail disappeared. They've escaped into Silverant. And just like that... Yeah. Back in Silverant. I know I said this a lot during this playthrough already, but... Convenience! My name is Symphonia! It's just, everything just falls in the lap of all the characters in this game. I, I like the story of this game, I really do, but sometimes I just really like to sit down and pick it apart. <laughs> I know, sounds bad, but... Ugh. Where are we? I also like that Regal actually managed to land on, on his feet, while Lloyd... Well, he's where he belongs. On the ground. <laughs> wow, that was mean. Probably on the outskirts of Palma Costa. We're back in Silverant? 
The mana level seems to have risen, but it's definitely Silverond. Oh, man. I never thought I'd wind up coming over to this side like that. Zealous, why did you butt in? Excuse me? Don't tell me you actually wanted to die back there. Well... Besides, those guys would have come after us regardless of whether or not you died. Pope's orders and all. Are you saying Kuchinawa is working for the Pope? Well, he did have Papal Knights with him, so I think that's pretty safe to say, yeah. It's likely. Those assassins he had with him were the Pope's men, weren't they? <laughs> assassins. <laughs> oh, you're way too nice, Rain. I'm certain of it. Sheena, please don't do something like that again. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Nothing good will come of you sacrificing your life. Colette's absolutely right. You should thank Zello, Sheena. Th thanks. Come on now. Would it hurt you to give me a kiss or two? And you completely ruined it, Zellos. We almost had her a little bit running your way at least. But I can imagine the only thing you'll get now is a slap. Zellos, you're horrible. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. Close well, what enough. are we going to do now? Well, since we're back in Silverunt, why don't we find out what the designs are up to? What about Mythos? We can't drag him into this. Maybe we could ask the Pomacosa government to take care of him for a while. Neil, huh? Hmm. I guess that's a good idea. I want to fight too. What are you saying? This journey is dangerous even if you had an X-Sphere. But he's an elf. Doesn't that mean that he may be able to use magic? I wouldn't mind having another magic user. Or are you just jealous, Janus? Hmm? Nah, he doesn't have an X-Sphere, so he wouldn't really be able to do much. Would be cool, though. He's right, Mythos. We do appreciate your sentiment, though. I suppose you're right. I understand. It would be nice, because of, you know, Genus and, uh, and Mythos' little friendship there, but it's probably for the best, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> お、怖。女のヒステリーは犬も食わねえぞ。大きなお世話だ。まず初めに誰が裏切ったのか考えてみるんだな。なんだと。へえ、大山、大山。私は私は。Wow, that was actually pretty mean, Zalo. So I mean, you can't you can't just retreat, retreat after saying something like that. <laughs> But anyway, let's just go into Palma Costa. I will say though, it's pretty nice to be back in Silveron. Even though I like that Theola better, it's still nice here. But uh, yeah, thankfully we just get teleported straight to Neil for some reason. Oh, Chosen One, Lloyd, how's the journey to release the seals going? <laughs> right, we did that back in the day too. <laughs> That's like almost 40 episodes ago. <laughs> uh, well, actually... Um, everything's going well. Anyway, uh, we were wondering if you could take care of him for a while. I certainly don't mind, but who is he? He is traveling with us for the moment, but we're heading out to an area that is too dangerous for him. Are you heading to the Palma Costa Ranch? What? What are you talking about? That was destroyed! Oh, you're not? We recently received reports that the signs are wandering inside the ruins of the ranch. We've increased our security. I wonder if Magnus came back. <laughs> I don't think so, Colette. <laughs> he was pretty done. 
I don't know if it's related, but there's are, there are also reports that the signs are attacking the sea route between Isul and Talmadosta. They seem to be constructing some sort of a giant infrastructure in the ocean floor. The remote island human ranch is located in that region. I wonder what's going on over there. Maybe it's the mannequin that Rodile is building. Well, if you're worried about it, why don't we just go and take a look? Even if it's not the mannequin, this city will be the next Lewin if the Palma Costa Ranch is operational again. That is very much true. Yeah, let's check out the Palma Costa Ranch. Well, it seems our plans are set. We'll come back for Mythos later. I see. I understand. Genis, be careful. And Rain, Lloyd, and everyone else too. Yeah, just wait here a little while. Is that okay, Mythos? Sure. Genis, please take this with you. What is it? It's a memento of my sister who passed away. I can't take... I can't take that. If you find yourself in danger, play it. I don't know what it can do, but it may just be able to save you. Okay, thank you. I promise, I'll come back and return it to you. And we get Mythos' panpipe. Okay. It's gonna save us, apparently. It's a little weird, but I, I... I like the gesture. There we go, yeah. At least he... He wants the best for us, or at least Genus, yeah. It's a nice looking pad pipe, though. They're incredibly hard to play, though. I, I, I have tried and failed miserably, yeah. <laughs> but uh, before we end this video off, this guy was not here before, so let's talk to him. You want to play for a bit? Uh, I need an adult. Uh, play what? Orienting. Using hints, you will search out certain people and objects in this city that have been that has been designated as checkpoints. When you find one, you'll be able to tell what the next checkpoint is. Repeat that process four times, and you win. That's all there is to it. Uh, sure, I'll do it. That sounds annoying. Then please, wait just a moment and I'll make the arrangements. This is for a title for Lloyd that was not in the GameCube version. The minigame was, but not the title. This was added in the PS2 version and of course also the PS3 version. Sorry for keep you waiting. Due to the way of the game works, Lloyd will need to be your leader. Are you ready? The first checkpoint is... Twin Javelins. Okay, so now when you get the checkpoint, I will put a link in the video description that actually shows you where everything is. Though this one is very easy. Twin Javelins. You just need to talk to the... To the uh, okay, ready? Go! You need to talk to these two guys. It's very simple. There we go. Hmm, <laughs> now do you think about it? I've been holding on to this. And let's see, I'm going to be a pirate when I grow up. Okay, so, once again, very easy one. I believe it is this little kid. Alright, there's a loading scene there. There we go. Talk to this guy. Oh, and here. Let's see, wag your tail, huff, huff, huff. Wow, I'm getting incredibly lucky. <laughs> That would be the dog walking around in the plaza, right here. Let's see, something is on my back. Uh, I got it, teacher. Uh, well, that is definitely in the school. So let's see, I believe it is actually up on the second floor. There is a chalkboard here somewhere. This one, is it? No. Underside. Uh, I'm getting a little bit nervous now. Where the heck is it? Is it inside here? Let's see. Just as, as I expected, something wrong? I re uh... No? Oh, there we go! There's something written in the small letters in the corner. Congratulations! However, orienting lasts until you get back. It's a checkpoint! Indeed, so now we need to rush back to the night. And we of course need to talk to him. To get the title, you need to do this under one minute. Thankfully, Palma Costa is a pretty small town. Let's see, Lloyd, your time was... 39 seconds! 
easy, yeah! <laughs> to make it even easier, just equip Lloyd's personal skill and you will be able to run around much faster. You, you pretty much seen that since I got my first level 2 X gem. <laughs> Lloyd, you are now a proud Palma Costa pro. So, of course, Lloyd gets the dog lover type. What? Um. Okay, I mean, Colette got the dog lover. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's a little typo in the Chronicles version. It is supposed to say Lloyd got the Palma Coast, the pro title, but Colette gets the dog lover title instead, apparently. <laughs> There's no prize. But it was a good exercise and fun, I bet. Feel free to speak to me again anytime. Yeah, I don't need to do that. But if you go into Lloyd's status here, though, you see that he is indeed a Palma Coast the pro. <laughs> Double Trouble in Palma Costa, from pet problems to critical crisis, he's the one to call. Ghostbuster! No, no, no not really, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see. Kind of a little fun minigame. As I said, I will put a link in the video description that you can use to actually make this game very easy. So, uh, I did use it for the last one there, because the chalkboard one was kind of weird, but I don't really know if I actually gotten it before, but... Uh, Except for that, I got incredibly lucky. Almost all of the, uh, the checkpoints were right besides the night. That was incredibly lucky. <laughs> you can actually go down to the harbor and go to the onto the ships there and everything. It's uh, you need to be a little bit lucky to be able to get it under one minute. You can it can take freaking forever. One of the times when I played that game, all of, all of the hints that I got was like on the other side of town. So I had to run back and forth all the time and I believe my time was around two minutes. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> but with that, I'm gonna end this off. So next time we are going back to the Palma Costa Ranch to see if it is actually the signs that are walking around. Or maybe a little bit of me is hoping that it is maybe the Ghost of Magnus. That would be fun. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.